Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, two circles uh, fully inscribed uh, in rectangle uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the radius uh, of this uh, blue circle is 8 with the center O, whereas the center of this uh, red circle is P, and these uh, circles are tangent to each other as well. And furthermore, uh, the perimeter of this rectangle uh, ABCD is uh, 80 units. And now our task is to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, red uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. I have drawn uh, this uh, diameter of this uh, blue circle EF. And we know the radius uh, of this blue circle is 8. So this is going to be 8 and 8. That means this diameter is going to be 16 units. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle and this angle are 90 degrees since uh, these are our radii and these are our tangent lines. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, side length uh, AD of this uh, rectangle is going to be equal to this uh, diameter EF. And we know the diameter is uh, 16. So therefore, this side length uh, AD is going to be 16 as well. And therefore, uh, this uh, side length BC is going to be 16 as well. And furthermore, uh, this uh, OG is uh, our radius uh, of this uh, blue circle as well. So therefore, this is going to be 8 uh, units. And this uh, angle is going to be 90 degrees uh, as well, according to this uh, circle theorem. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate these uh, side lengths uh, CD and uh, AB of uh, this uh, rectangle uh, ABCD. And we know that the rectangle uh, perimeter is uh, 80. Let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, side length uh, of this rectangle as uh, width W. Then uh, this side length uh, BC is going to be W as well. And the length uh, of this uh, rectangle uh, CD, I'm going to use the uppercase L. Then this uh, length uh, AB is going to be uppercase L as well. So therefore, the perimeter of this uh, rectangle ABCD is going to be W plus uh, W is going to give us 2W plus uh, L plus L is going to give us uh, 2L. So therefore, the rectangle perimeter is going to be 2L plus 2W uh, is going to be equal to 80. And we know our W width uh, is uh, 16. So therefore, I'm going to replace this uh, W by 16. So therefore, we got uh, 2L plus uh, 2 times uh, 16 equals to 80. So let's go ahead and subtract 32 from both sides. We got uh, 2L equals to 48. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 to isolate uh, length uh, L. So L value turns out to be 24 uh, units. So therefore, our these uh, lengths uh, AB and uh, CD turns out to be 24 units. And now let's focus on this uh, red uh, circle. These are the radii of this uh, red circle. Let me label this uh, radius as a lowercase r. Then this is going to be a lowercase uh, r as well. And furthermore, uh, these angles are going to be 90 degrees each according to circle theorem. And now let's make an observation. Uh, if uh, this uh, length uh, is uh, lowercase r, then this length uh, QB is uh, lowercase r as well. And furthermore, we know that this uh, whole uh, length uh, AB is uh, 24. And this uh, length uh, AF uh, is same as uh, this uh, radius uh, 8. So therefore, this uh, whole uh, length uh, FB is going to be 24 minus 8 is going to give us uh, 16. And we know that this uh, QB is uh, R. 
So therefore, this uh, FQ length is going to be 16 minus R. So I can write uh, 16 minus uh, R. And here's our next step. I have drawn uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, PT on this uh, diameter. And we can see that uh, this uh, length uh, PT is going to be equal to this uh, length uh, FQ. This is 16 minus R. So therefore, uh, this uh, TP length is going to be 16 minus R as well. And now we know that this uh, radius uh, Q P is uh, R so therefore this uh, length is going to be lowercase r as well and we know that this uh, whole uh, radius of this blue circle is uh, 8 so therefore uh, this uh, OT length is going to be 8 uh, minus uh, r and finally I have connected uh, these uh, centers uh, O and uh, P and now let's recall this uh, crucial fact the centers uh, and the point of uh, tangency are uh, collinear. In other words, uh, these centers uh, P and the center O and this uh, point of tangency, they lie on the very same uh, line. And we know that uh, this uh, is the radius uh, of this blue circle, which is 8. And this is the radius uh, of this red circle, which is uh, lowercase r. So therefore, uh, this length uh, O P is going to be 8 plus uh, r and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right uh, triangle otp whose uh, side lengths are 16 minus r 8 minus r and 8 uh, plus r so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem to find the value of this uh, radius r and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg uh, as side C. I'm going to call this side A and this side lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. A in our case is 16 minus R whole square plus B in our case is 8 minus R whole square equal to C in our case is 8 plus R whole square. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as uh, a square minus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply on these uh, two binomials. So therefore this is going to become uh, 256 minus uh, 32 r plus uh, r square and likewise for this one is going to be 64 minus uh, 16 r plus uh, r square equals to and now let's recall another identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on the right hand side so therefore this is going to give us 64 plus 16 r plus r square now we can see this r square cancels out this uh, r square on the left hand side and this uh, 64 is gone with this uh, 64 and now let's go ahead and combine uh, these uh, like terms on the left hand side as you can see in this uh, next step when i combine these two like terms we got uh, negative 48 r let's go ahead and subtract uh, 16 r from both sides this is uh, gone so let's combine these like terms on the left hand side in a descending order so we got uh, r square negative 64 r plus 256 equals to zero so thus we are ended up with this uh, quadratic uh, equation and we are going to solve it uh, by using the quadratic uh, formula and here's our quadratic formula that we are going to use and in our case uh, our coefficient uh, a is one coefficient uh, b is uh, negative uh, 64 and uh, c is uh, 256 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, quadratic uh, formula so our radius uh, r is going to be minus uh, and b is uh, negative uh, 64 plus uh, r minus uh, the square root of uh, b square means uh, this is going to be negative uh, 64 
whole square minus uh, 4 times a is 1 and uh, c is uh, 256 all over 2 times uh, a is uh, 1 and in this uh, next step uh, negative and negative uh, is going to give us a uh, positive uh, 64 and negative uh, 64 whole square is going to give us uh, 4096 uh, and 4 times 256 is going to give us 1024 and now if we subtract uh, inside this radical we are going to get uh, 3072 and now let's focus on this uh, radicand 3072 and here I have copied it down and here if we simplify this thing uh, we can get uh, 32 times uh, square root of 3 so therefore I'm going to replace uh, this uh, radical part uh, by 32 times square root of 3 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this one by 32 times square root of 3 now I can go ahead and split this one up I can write as a partial fraction r equal to 64 divided by 2 plus uh, r minus uh, 32 times uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 as well so therefore our radius uh, r value going to be equal to 32 plus uh, r minus uh, 16 times uh, square root of uh, 3 now let's go ahead and split uh, these uh, positive and negative signs so therefore our r value is going to be 32 plus uh, 16 times uh, square root of 3 and the other r value is going to be r equals to 32 minus uh, 16 times uh, square root of uh, 3 and we know that our uh, r value is between 0 and 8 so therefore we are going to reject uh, this value of r since this is larger than 8 so therefore we are going to accept uh, this value of r so thus the radius uh, of this uh, red circle turns out to be 32 minus uh, 16 times square root of 3 units and that is approximately equal to 4.29 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye